Spring is here. Bathing suit season is around the corner. Wedding season is right around the corner. Does that make you cringe? Have you been trying to lose weight for years, maybe even decades? Or maybe you're suffering from such ailments as high blood pressure, chronic migraines, even infertility. Get ready because your answer can be in this little book right here, The Plan. You can lose a half a pound a day and cure those ailments just by what you eat. I'm Amber from ABC Coast to Coast and I'm happy to say I've been on The Plan for 22 days now. And does it work? You tell me, here are the results. I am down eight and a half pounds, feel better than ever, seeing sizes I haven't seen since before puberty, skin is great, energy is great, my husband's down 15 pounds in 20 days, hardly any exercise just by what we're eating. Have I got your attention now? Well, let me keep it because we are about to talk to the expert, the creator of the plan, Lynn Janae Resitas. Amber, ABC Coast to Coast, and I'm so excited to be here with Lynn Janae Resitas. Did I say that correctly? You did. I'm not sure I said it correctly. The author of The Plan. Um, tell me a little bit about The Plan. How did it come about? Well, The Plan started in Harlem, and I had a holistic health center there. And I've been working as a nutritionist for a while, but I really started to attract a demographic in their 30s and older. And it was really interesting because I always started off with a food-based cleanse and then would slowly introduce healthy foods. And when I'd introduce what was typically thought of as a healthy protein, black beans, I would see consistent two pound weight gain. Hmm. So then I went to the next healthiest food, which was salmon. Once again, 85% of my clients, two pound weight gain. But what was really interesting, aside from the weight gain, is that when they would have exponential weight gain to a healthy food, that their health issues would trigger as well. So if somebody was suffering from migraines, they would have a migraine on the day they had salmon. If they had arthritis, they would have an arthritic flare-up. If they had depression, they would be depressed. So I started to put two and two together. I'd been studying uh, chronic low-grade inflammation for a while and I came up with this unique concept that maybe foods can actually trigger an inflammatory response. And what I wanted to do was be successful, obviously. Of so I started to track data and I started to notice, wow, 85% of my clients are reactive to oatmeal or to Greek yogurt or to salmon or to black beans. In the beginning, it was just tracking data. And uh, then I started to realize that there were foods that were consistently healthy and low inflammatory for a majority of the population. And so I started to tweak the diet more where we put low inflammatory foods in the beginning and then have people test the foods that they love. We quickly found out that people are chemically unique. Okay. <laughs> and we also quickly found out that calories mean nothing. Your weight is just your chemical response to food. Calories mean nothing. That's the calories good for viewers mean to know. Absolutely yeah. Absolutely nothing. I mean, you know, during the cleanse, as a woman, you're consuming over seven thousand calories in three days, but you're losing anywhere from wow. five to seven pounds. Now, how is that That's possible? Amazing. Yeah. Right. Well, those are the least inflammatory foods, and so when you eat a food that doesn't work for your body, it triggers an immediate histamine response, and that causes that instant water weight gain. So everybody's body is different, obviously, so everyone has different reactions. So is the plan more individualized for each person? It's completely it individualized. As a matter of fact, you get to choose what you want to test. So we'll say, if you want to test scotch, test scotch. <laughs> nice. you, know, you want to test a burger, <laughs> test a burger. You need to test the things that are relevant in your life so you can make an informed decision on whether they should be part of your daily diet or not. So on the plan, if your body is working correctly, if, if I'm understanding correctly, you should lose about a half a pound or maybe more a day? We will find, you know, it's amazing. We, we put a half a pound as sort of our gauge, but we've had people lose 20 pounds in 20 days. I mean, it's amazing. So it really depends on the level of inflammation that you have. Yeah. But if you're not losing at least half a pound, uh, that's a sign that your body is mildly reactive to it. So okay. if you test cheese and you lose 0.2, and say, you know what, cheese isn't the best for you, but if you love it, have it, but just have it once a week. Don't eat it every day. Exactly. Um, but you should be losing 0.5. That's, that's amazing. Well, I have to say, I've been on the plan for 20 days, as you know, and I am very successful. My husband's actually lost 15 pounds. Um, but I have a little bit of a confession to make. I am Amber, and I'm a granola addict. Oh, <laughs> I am a granola addict. My heart. But it's so good, and when you see that half a pound every day, it's so hard to, this is, this is true, I can't not eat the granola. I've tried to break myself away. What advice do you You're give? You're talking about the oats, the, right? Oats, the, are, oats, are, oats are the devil. No, no, the granola in the book, the flaxseed oh, granola. The flax when you see something that works and you oh, lose a half a pound every okay. day, I don't want to try other stuff. I want to stay with the granola and see that's 
scale keep going down and down and down. Okay, well that's actually, you bring up a really good point. Okay. Um, every food has its health benefits and every food has its health risks. So if you keep consuming the same food, there's the potential of the negative effects of those foods starting to take effect on your body. And you'll actually notice because you'll start stabilizing. Your body can actually start to develop a, a food sensitivity, which can then turn into a food allergy. Oh, so the rotation okay. of foods is really one of the most important things you can do for your best health and your best weight. But also what we found is, you know, flax is amazing. A cup of our flax granola has 40 grams of protein. It's rich in omega-3s. It's rich in calcium. It's great so for easy digestive to make. health. Exactly. And it's inexpensive, yep. unlike most gluten-free things. But um, it can start to alter hormonal levels. So in women, it'll start to skew their estrogen and men their testosterone. Okay. So we say limit it to twice a week after the first couple of weeks and we'll find you something else to <laughs> I have to find some more I breakfast. Some do you have a favorite recipe in the book? Well, let's see. Of course you do. I'm you know, sure. I have to say, like most people, I'm a pretty consistent eater and I'm also a busy mom and I travel a lot. So for me, my favorite thing is having the lamb burgers. They're super easy to make. We buy three pounds all at once and we'll make a big batch and freeze them and you just top them with whatever you like, whether it's cheese or guacamole or sauteed onions and mushrooms. And lamb you can eat three times a week. And it's just, it's amazing. That your, sounds really good, yeah. Yeah, I mean, your flax, that's my lamb. Okay, <laughs> okay, so I don't feel so bad, that's your lamb. All right, so you have your own I have addiction. Own, yeah, exactly. We're having confessions here. <laughs> you talk about water intake is really important. Can you talk about that really quick? Because that was also a challenge for me. I, I'm working on it, but I think viewers as well, that um, getting that water in every day, do you have any tips for that by any Yes, chance? I do. Most people are really dehydrated. And if you're not drinking enough water, the first thing I say is don't pretend that you like water. <laughs> okay. Knock it back. So if you weigh 160 pounds, what we tell you to do is to drink five pints of water a day. And what we have you do is first thing in the morning, morning you drink one pint. Boom, that's out of the way. Systematically program in the rest. Do one at 11, one at three, one at five, one at seven, and you're done for the day. But what's really important is that your health is dependent on enough water because water is needed for every metabolic and cellular function. So when you don't drink enough water, what you're telling to your body is, you know what, stop preparing my heart, my liver, my lung. Instead, what I want you to do is take a lot of energy and extract water from all the food that I'm eating and I'm gonna hold on to that in my tissues and my cells as a reservoir. So when you don't drink enough water, what you're actually doing is retaining water. Okay. And I would easily say, you know, we had about 10,000 people join us on Facebook pretty much all at once. And they're like, I lost five pounds in a week just by drinking water. This is amazing. They didn't change anything. It they was didn't just change. added water. No, no dietary change, no exercise, just water intake. So when you drink enough water, what you're telling your body is, hey, water's coming in on a regular basis now. That water you've been holding on to, you can excrete it. And you just kind of just melts away, it just, literally. It just flushes right out. So you were on the Dr. Oz show, and you've done like media tours, crazy. You've been all over the place. Your travel schedule, it's just crazy. <laughs> like it's just, I'm so happy that we were able to sit down and talk. Um, what's your best story? Do you have a good story from your travels? Working with Dr. Oz, he was just the nicest person. Really? And he walked into the room, and I'm sitting down in a chair just like this, and he sits right down next to me, and he goes, nice shoes. And I'm like, you know what? I like you. <laughs> We're going to be friends. <laughs> but, you know, it was, it was amazing working with him and really for him to just say at the end of his show, I need to rethink everything I've told my patients, and I just need to tell them to listen to their bodies. That is just, yeah. And that actually summarizes the plan in a nutshell. You know, your weight is just one of the ways that your body's telling you, this doesn't work for me. Please stop feeding this to me. It's telling you through your mood, through your sleep, through your hormones through your aches and pains, through the constipation, through the digestion problems, all of that is not normal. Mm -hmm. And there's part of us that just thinks, I meant to suffer with this. And it's completely untrue. It's all reversible. I have a couple of viewers that are dealing with infertility right now. And I know you say that the plan really helps. And I would really like to ask you, can you, can you elaborate on that? OK, so this is one of the most exciting things. Uh, yeah, it's really find, amazing. Yeah. When you eat a food that doesn't work for your body, what happens is that automatic histamine response. Remember, that's how you gain mm -hmm. that instant weight. When you have an automatic histamine response, what winds up happening is your cortisol levels rise, right? Because the body thinks it's under attack. Now, cortisol levels that are constantly risen mean long term fat storage. So you're gaining weight. But cortisol and our hormones come from the same place. 
So for women, it's going to shunt progesterone production, and for men, it's going to shunt testosterone production. And then what winds up happening for women is that they're estrogen dominant. Okay. And that's one of the major reasons that women are having such fertility problems. So by decreasing cortisol levels, hello, that red wine, <laughs> uh, eating your low inflammatory foods, you will immediately start to see that the hormones start to balance. And we've literally had people pregnant in six weeks that have been trying to get pregnant. It's just so beautiful. It's that's amazing. amazing. How many, do you know how many babies have been born? Oh my goodness. I, Countless, right? Our, our record was, I think a few years ago, we had six women get pregnant in one month, which oh is my just, gosh. they've been trying for years. I ask this of all of my guests, and you can take a minute, but what is something surprising about you or your profession or your book or something that people would be surprised to learn? You know, I'm just, I'm still amazed sometimes when I see people's responses to healthy foods, and I've been doing this a while. And I remember there was a, a woman on Facebook, and she lost 14.4 pounds in four days. It's also great, you know, to be able to uh, affect such change in young kids. You know, my son was diagnosed with asthma at the age of five, and just by using a few herbs and a little MSM, he's never needed an inhaler since. My uh, soon-to-be stepdaughter is autistic, and just by decreasing the sodium in her diet, she stopped craving the carbs, which is what I generally do with children. And at this point, she's reading, she dances to Katy Perry, she talks too much. It literally starts with kids with this whole domino effect. So we do that with kids with autism and with ADHD. Those simple changes, they don't have to do the com complicated stuff we need to do as we get older because their bodies are stronger, they want to heal. What is next for Lynn Janae? What's, what's next for the plan? Well, we're working on opening up uh, and partnering with restaurants because Obviously, Completely eating out is a great joy. So if you know there's some place you can go and consistently lose weight, that's fantastic. We partnered with the Trump Hotel in Toronto, Stock Restaurant. Uh, we partnered with an amazing farm-to-table restaurant in Houston called Sorel. So I'm going down there Wednesday for that. And we're, gonna, we're looking at some partners in Dallas, and we're going to keep opening up that. Um, we are working a lot with ethnic cuisine because uh, right now, the plan does have some ethnic uh, recipes, but we want people to be able to eat indigenous cuisines, but make them plan friendly. And we're in the work, works for our next book, which is about thyroid dysfunction. Because, because so many people are estrogen dominant or having low testosterone, it's affecting thyroid function. And that really affects everything from your metabolism to your hormones, to your sex drive, to your skin, digestion, migraines, and especially depression. So what's typically thought of as postpartum depression is not, it's actually thyroid dysfunction. It's amazing that if you just pay attention to what you're eating and just get the plan, get the plan. Um, speaking of which, how do, my, how do my viewers purchase the plan? It's sold out everywhere. Help oh, us they're out. so Help sweet. They, no, they're, they're, my publishing company is good. They're, they're keeping up with the demand. Okay. So, so you can find it on Amazon or local booksellers or Barnes okay. & Nobles and hopefully a small bookseller you will, will carry it as well. You can go there. Um, we offer a lot of information online, so we really try to, uh, we, we created a whole section just for readers of the book to help, help them feel like they're working with one, me or one of my team. We also have on Facebook, uh, Cindy is an amazing nutritionist mm -hmm. and she's been with me the longest and she answers every single question. Well, thank you so much for talking with me. I really My appreciate pleasure. it. It's thank you. you. It's so great to see you friend. too. Yes, <laughs> I know. I know. I'm going to put a link up to the plan on my website. Thank you, Lynn Janae, for the time and My check pleasure. out the plan.